What's up guys? Welcome back to the show and thank you for tuning in. I've been pretty busy lately working on a couple of different projects here, some small things. And I do want to get into that, but first I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up over the course of the last, say, two to four weeks. And the first thing is a little stack of NES games. Of course, it was a much bigger stack, but uh, this was part of a larger lot from eBay. I feel like I haven't been on eBay in forever. Uh, but I did the old game of going on there looking for a lot, and then I wound up flipping half of that. And uh, I just wanted to show you the stuff that I decided to keep, the things that I didn't have here. Eight Eyes. This is reminiscent of uh, Castlevania. I got stuck really, really fast, and I felt like an idiot. I guess you have to use your companion, bird or falcon or eagle or whatever the hell. Uh, I got to go back to it because... It seems like a good game. I don't know if it's the best game in the world, but it seems pretty good. And I uh, I like the music. I'll be getting back into that pretty soon. Arch Rivals. This is like a cartoony type uh, arcade basketball game with some fighting. Mighty Bomb Jack. I have no idea uh, what this is all about, but it's a Tecmo game. And so I figured it can't be too bad. Mighty Bomb Jack. Curious if you guys have played any of these. Operation Wolf, eh, not that great. I think it's compatible with the light gun. It's so-so, right? It kind of, uh, you're panning across the screen, uh, taking out taking out enemies. Uh, Yoshi, Yoshi, really good puzzle game. I was really having a fun time with this when I popped that in. I'd never played any of these, like I said. Uh, surprisingly so. Okay guys, I get the question from time to time how many original Nintendo games I have, and at the moment I'm sitting at 153 titles according to GameEye. It's by far the biggest collection I have. It takes up the majority of this center shelving unit here along with a handful of Famicom games and Nintendo 64 games as well. And uh, game-wise, last but not least, I picked up a boxed copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. It's got the styrofoam, it's got the game. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, so I'm going to be on the lookout for a manual, but uh, it's in decent shape. It's got the it's got the uh, flaps on the inside there. It's a little banged up here and there, but it cleans up uh, really well, just like anything else in the box protector. This is one of those games I always wanted to get in the box. It's like a must, right? And I got a few of these posters. Check this out. This is all part of the same lot. I'm going to be very careful so as to not tear this. Look at that. Dragon Warrior poster uh, with some dungeon maps on the back. I think Dragon Warrior was one of the games also in the lot, uh, but I wound up, you know, that was an extra for me, so I kind of shoveled that along. And we have another poster here. This is just single-sided. Solstice. Pretty cool. I have Solstice. Uh, that was another duplicate that was in the lot that I passed along. And look at this, a Dragon Warrior. Uh, it's not the manual, because I have the manual. This says uh, some type of handbook. So it's like, uh, it's all the maps. It's like a more... Uh, in-depth guidebook or, or um, you know, a bunch of secrets and stuff. Who knows? For Dragon Warrior. Not the best condition in the world, but kind of a neat little extra there. So that does it for that lot from eBay. Um, I also picked this up from GameStop. I've, I haven't been doing a good job of popping into GameStop. I just keep letting my, my free $5 every month just rot away, which is not good. But finally found at a good price, Horizon Forbidden West. Obviously, I'm uh, many years late to the game here. I absolutely loved um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've talked about that before. So I'm looking forward to getting into this. And that's going to suck, you know, all the hours out of the day for me once I do so. I think I got this for around $17, which I thought was pretty good. $17, $18. Um, yes, next, next. So I've been working on some Game Boy Advance projects, okay? I've been getting into kind of modding them. I worked on uh, one recently that started out as this guy, 
uh, Terry from Nostalgia Lane. I said I want to mod another Game Boy Advance because, you know, I just kind of got hooked. I wanted to turn it into uh, a project. So the guts from that Game Boy Advance turn into this heavily upgraded Game Boy Advance, complete with the uh, the upgraded uh, IPS screen, the new shell, uh, the uh, USB-C rechargeability there on the back, and uh, last but not least, the buttons, the new buttons reminiscent of the Super Famicom, which I really like a lot. Uh, very cool. I'll give you a little demonstration here. Nice bright screen. There you go. Um, so yeah, I've been really getting into these projects and then I have another one started as well. Um, this one I'll probably get a new board and I'll probably want to upgrade this because my daughter she's like oh can I have a Game Boy because she saw the pink one she saw the pink shell that was repurposed you know the guts for this new modded one she saw the pink shell and uh, she thought I was working on one for her so now I'm on the hook to make one for her. Uh, so that'll probably become a future project and maybe even a future video. Hey guys, while I'm on the topic, I wanted to take a moment to mention that I have a handheld legend affiliate code, which gives you 5% off your first purchase and I receive a kickback for. Although everything you see in this video was purchased with my own money, I'll leave links in the description below for each of the parts used for this build. So in addition to that, um, Terry, of course, being Terry, Nostalgia Lane, by the way. Did I even mention the um, the channel name? I probably did, but I forgot already. Uh, he sent me a few extras. Really, really cool. Little eyeglass cleaner. I don't know. Maybe that's for the sunglasses. Little Super Mario, uh, little, you know, microfiber cloth that I've been using quite a bit. Uh, sent me a Yoshi figure. You can never have too much Yoshi. We've got like three or four Yoshi figures there. We've got the Yoshi figure uh, pillow figure. We've got the Yoshi pillow here in the room. This is slowly becoming like a Yoshi shrine around here. But he also included some Game Boy Advance games. Spirit, uh, Stallion of Cimarron. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. I have no idea what's going on there. But uh, I don't know. Terry and I, we've got this like horse thing going back and forth, I feel like, because um, I think I sent him a copy of Horses 2 for the Nintendo Wii, and maybe this is like uh, this is like him returning the favor uh, as far as horse games go. I have no idea. Uh, Spyro, Season of Ice. Never played it. In fact, I don't have a whole lot of experience with Spyro games in general. Maybe a little bit PlayStation 1 at my friend's house a long, long time ago, but that's about it. So very, very cool. And <laughs> like I said, I've, um, I've been wanting to get more into more Game Boy Advance projects. Josh from Playmore Games sent me what used to be this like Glacier White uh, Game Boy Advance. I've since taken uh, the guts out of there and this is now a shell. Um, I'm gonna be doing more of these projects which you'll see on future videos. But uh, he included this very cool extra, Donkey Kong, sorry, Super Donkey Kong Game Boy. Some Japanese copy of this cool Donkey Kong game. Really, really awesome. Uh, that just about ends it for the video. More to come. I always appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you next time.